I think his first name is actually Bay and his last name is Rick and they just put it together. Barrick prefers to go by Barrick. He's got a long and prestigious family history. His dwarves have lived under the great Farscape Mountains for many generations. And his house has been the leader of the group of dwarves who lives there. What's his house name? Now I can't think of anything funny for that, but I assure you that it's something very dwarfy. Well, Cody, his last name, come to think of it, I don't think we uh, gave him a last name. Well, I'm on the QA team, so I'm the one who is basically trying to find all the bugs and find all the things wrong with the game. It's been really fun, it's been really interesting. Not saying I want everything to keep breaking so I can keep finding them, but hey, if we keep putting stuff into the game, things will keep breaking and I'll keep finding them and it'll be all good. Um, we are a very design-driven studio, and so we like to try a lot of experiments, try them internally, and uh, if you're in the beta, you'll see that there's um, a lot of experimental things that go in, we change it from week to week, and so it's, it's really fun being a game developer, and if you're in the beta, it's, it's the closest I think you'll get with any kind of beta to see really how game development works week to week. So as a studio, one of our goals at Hi Res is always to develop a game that's fun first, and that's going to be something you'll see in the early process of Paladins. We'd like to iterate on the core design of the game, iterate on the character design of the game, and really kind of figure out what makes the game fun and compelling from that direction. But once we have that locked down, we're all big fans of lore and storytelling and creating a narrative, and so we will be going back and creating that story once we have locked down the core design.